Hi, and welcome to Fresher Talks. My name is Tint, and today we're going to explore the features and merits of the Fresher Track Vacancy System, FTVS. In this episode, we are having a closer look on the working principle of the non-vital axle counting solution, FTVS. The FTVS works with the sensor RSR110, which is also used for triggering trackside equipment. For further details, please see the RSR110 episode. FTVS consists of two types of boards, which are the WSC, wheel sensor signal converter, and the WCV, wheel sensor counting board. Now let's have a closer look at the working principle of the FTVS. If, for example, a rail vehicle traverses an RSR110, WSC converts the sensor analog signal to digital signals, which is then used to feed into the WCB. The WCB then counts the axle moving in and moving out of the track section and determines if the track section is clear or occupied. The WCB then forwards the status of the evaluated track session to a higher ranking system via the non-vital discrete dry contact outputs, for example, to the switch protection unit. Before we go over the possible configurations, it should be noted that the WCB can work with minimum one sensor and maximum up to four sensors to form one track section. Only one track session is evaluated and outputted per WCB. Here we can see the possible configurations based on one to four sensor layouts. Based on the track layouts shown here, some of the possible applications would be switch point protection, automation solutions like opening and closing gates, or integrated with alarm system for end of track detection. FTVS is great for track vacancy detection if a fail-safe train detection system is not needed. So that's it for the working principle of the FTVS. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode of Fresher Talks.